Bing, bang, guapo gang. Back with another video, man. In today's... Oh, oh we're good, we're good. Thought I stopped recording. In today's video, I'm going to go over how I lost 30 pounds in three months. Uh, to start off the video, like I said in my other transformation video, and if you guys want to see that, you can click right here. Um, cool video. I took uh, weekly progress videos along the way. Really cool transformation. But um, now I'm going to go over my diet. My first week, I just was con consciously trying to eat healthier. Um, I wasn't doing anything special. wasn't counting my calories. My first week in just trying to have eat less portions of food and all that. Second week comes around. That's when I started intermittent fasting. And literally all, all that is is you skip breakfast. So I was just eating lunch and dinner. Yeah, so I was just eating lunch and dinner. I was doing my workouts uh, fasted, and that helps a ton. Um, really sheds off that body fat, at least in my case it did. And I intermittent fasted for the first month and a half. Then when that month and a half came around, that's I uh, started to plateau a little bit. And keep in mind, at this point in my journey, I, w I didn't have a food scale. So I was just kind of eyeballing my calories and just trying to eat less portion sizes. So I couldn't tell you a um, a calorie count that I was eating because at the time I wasn't doing that. I was just fat. I was just using fasting as my tool. So you guys don't need a uh, food scale to lose weight. I mean, I, re I highly recommend it. It makes everything way easier, but you don't need one. You could just eat less. So then a month and a half comes around. That's when I started to introduce the warrior diet because I was starting to plateau. So um, the warrior diet is 20 hour fast and four hour eating window. So normally I would have my last meal end around 8 p.m. Then the next day I would eat again at 4 p.m. and then have another meal at 8 p.m. So uh, two meals a day still, but um, shorter eating shorter eating window. So um, it's, it's harder to eat a lot of calories, which is good when you're trying to lose weight if you have a shorter eating window. And uh, this also helped a lot. And I also introduced the OMAD diet, which is one meal a day aka a 23 hour fast and a one hour eating window this i found very beneficial too but when i started doing this consistently one thing i did find with me personally is i started to really binge um in that one meal and the the entire day my mind was on food it was all right uh eight more hours to di till dinner oh four more hours to dinner two more hours. so like by the time dinner came i was eating a ton of calories so i started to plateau a little bit on the uh, omad so that I just use as a tool to do every once in a while, but I stopped doing it every day because uh, I started eating in a caloric surplus. And how do I know that? Just because I started gaining weight again. So uh, that was a little plateau, but I quickly adjusted. Within two weeks, I adjusted very quickly, told myself to stop doing OMAD every day. And then I also did prolonged fast. And you, you guys can actually see some of those videos. They're pretty cool transformations. Um, I have two day fast and three day fast up on YouTube. And um, yeah, those you'll see very, very quick transformations when you do a prolonged fast like that. Uh, you just shed body fat so quick, a lot easier than you think. And um, yeah, that was my diet. I was, it, you don't need a food scale to lose weight. You could just either fast. I used fasting to shorten my eating window and uh, it's harder to eat a lot of calories with a shorter eating window. So that's what I did. I just kept it simple. You don't need to overcomplicate this. I kept it simple and just kept eating less and less till I got to the body fat percentage I wanted to be at. And then this summer later, after this transformation, I did end up buying food scale. But this transformation, I'll, I'll just eye, eyeballing my dinner and just trying to eat less. That's it. So uh, keep things simple. You don't have to overcomplicate this stuff. And that's how I lost 30 pounds in three months. Now, um, I've now uh on to the next subject i've been getting a lot of uh comments and dms asking about certain video suggestions so uh keep in mind i have a lot of cool topics coming up soon so stay tuned for those that's all oh one one more thing that's not all for today's video one more thing um people overcomplicate this stuff all losing or gaining weight is if you want to lose weight eat eat less food um, it's literally just a calorie deficit. You're eating less than your body's burning throughout the day. You're going to lose weight. You want to gain weight, eat more food. Uh, it's literally just more calories than what you're burning throughout the day. Everyone wants to really overcomplicate this stuff. Uh, I know I personally like weighing out my food, but you don't need to do that. You could, you could just eat more or eat less depending on what your goals are. 
So uh, stop overcomplicating this. I know a lot of fitness people out there really overcomplicate the whole bulking, cutting, maintaining, whatever, whatever it may be. A lot of people overcomplicate it. You don't have to overcomplicate this stuff. Just work out and eat right. That's it. So uh, now that's all for today's video. Bang, bang, guapo, gang, we out.